Hi everyone, today I'm coming to talk to you about your hair and it being similar to being in a relationship with a person. People don't you know, they're not as enthusiastic about hair like I am and a lot of other naturals are but we all go through one or more kind of feelings when it comes to our hair we could either love our hair or not really like it and just um, kind of walk with it now when I look at my hair and I think about hair I think about my hair has been in a relationship with me. So think of it this way. When you first big chop, you're in awe and amazement about your new hair. You're liking it and maybe you're not sure what it is, but you're kind of getting used to it. And you go through a period where, oh, you're doing all the styles and everything looks so wonderful and um, things are looking good you you want to be in your hair all day you want to touch it you want to play in it but one thing is that later on that feeling kind of starts going away and you're just kind of fed up with your hair and you just don't want to do anything with it the first stage in the relationship with your hair is the honeymoon stage it's similar to any relationship you might have with your significant other or boyfriend or partner or whatever the first thing you're so in love with that person you can't stop calling them you can't stop hanging out with them and that's how it is with your hair then later on not that you fall out of love with that person and it's not that you fall out of love with your hair but you're just kind of gotten accustomed to it and there's no wow factor the wow factor of Oh, okay when I put this product in this is what happens when I do this twist out it looks so fantastic the situation is what do you do when the wow factor is gone so what do you do you protective style it <laughs> that's what you do it is okay to take time away from your natural hair and when I say time away from your natural hair I am not talking about protecting style in it and then not moisturizing it not taking care of it while it is in this protective stage no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about letting your hair have a break in every relationship it is very essential for couples to take a little bit of you know not like a little bit of break like oh separate or anything no but you take a little break here and there for example when you go to work your spouse maybe your spouse works with you I'm, I'm not sure but your spouse doesn't stay with you all the time even if your spouse works with you in the same office you each have your separate cubicles or offices so you have that time away from yourself yourselves <laughs> so but with your hair your hair is always on your head it's always attached to you so you can like take time away but you can do protective styles when that happens Another way that you can have that lovey-dovey feeling back into your hair is to change your regimen just a little bit. Not so much that you throw your hair out on a loop like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Because it's similar to a relationship. If you change, if your spouse comes to the house and comes home from work and you're someone different, I mean, they're like, who are you? <laughs> you know, so, but you want to spice things up in a relationship. You want to do little things to just keep the person interested similar to your hair you want to change up the regimen just a little bit so you might introduce a new product yeah don't sway too much in terms of ingredients when it comes to introducing a new product stay in the same realm of the ingredients that you use but change it up there's no reason why you can't change up like you can try okay if you were deep conditioning after you can try deep conditioning before you can try little things just to give your hair a new you know hump <laughs> feeling back into its life so those are the two reasons or two ways that you can introduce the first love that you have for your hair when you first big chop or first transitioning big chop how you can put that back and if you're struggling with your hair you know you can post any information on Discovery Natural on Facebook page and I and other lovely lovely naturals 
will answer your questions thank you so much for watching and I do hope this video has been very informative so thank you and if you've not yet subscribed feel free to subscribe right there so we well, thank you and we'll talk to you in the next video bye thanks for watching